Hello and welcome back to another video. This is Virtual Tennis on the Sega Dreamcast. And uh, this was one of the very early titles, if it wasn't a release title. Absolutely fantastic tennis game. Arguably the sequel's perhaps better, but it's a bit more in depth and I actually personally prefer the simplicity of the original game. In the second game it really focused on sort of uh, powering up your character while playing various mini games, which were extremely fun. I must admit, I've not even given this a, a quick whirl, so I'm just uh, trying to figure it out as we go along. Playing from an original disc. I actually landed really lucky with my American Dreamcast games because I bought a bundle with 10 American Dreamcast games and a Dreamcast Link lead, and I think I paid £35. Uh, I later went on to sell the Dreamcast Link lead for over a hundred, so as it stands, these games don't owe me a penny. But I've got some really cool titles. Nothing that's particularly rare or, you know, hard to find, but uh, some of the very best, you know, MSR Street Racing, Virtual Tennis, Ferrari Challenge, Jet Set Radio. And several others. Oh, go on, Tim. Showing us that little trick shot there. But as far as tennis games go, oh no, Tim. This was the best you could get, or certainly the sequel in this was the best you could get for a lot of time. This was almost the PGA Tour of tennis games, in my opinion. It uh, certainly was a cut above what we'd really seen before. And in terms of realism and the way the graphics looked, it it was unrivaled for a long time, probably until Virtual Tennis 3, or I can't remember the name of it, there was one that was released for the original Xbox, and it also had a sequel on the Xbox 360, although the sequel wasn't as well regarded. That was also a good tennis game. It's a weird thing with games, like I definitely wouldn't play tennis as a pastime, Obviously, it's extremely hard. Obviously, it takes a lot of energy and you need to have a high level of fitness. Plus, the fact that whenever I've tried to play tennis, when I hit the ball, it's it's out of the court or it's in the net. Sort of one or the other. Go on, Tim. Go on, Tim! That's the only thing missing from this game. That's knackered it. Oh no, for me. Oh. Well, they've only gone and won. Kalfelnikov. Come on, Tim. There we go. So I'm sure there's loads of nuances and different moves you can do in this game. I'm not actually that familiar with the original. I just know I've played the second one an awful lot, mainly on the PlayStation 2, which is why I'm certain that this one is actually better suited to my requirements in this day and age. I do have the second one, it also came in that bundle, it's sealed. It's probably the only Dreamcast game sealed that's never ever going to increase in value. There just seems to be so many of them. It's actually not called Virtual Tennis 2 in America, it's called... Mm, uh, was it, I think it's called like Summit Tennis 98 or something like that. Not 98. I don't know now. 2K Tennis, 2K2 Tennis or something. Uh, I could get out and, and look, but it doesn't really matter. Anyone who watched the last video, Final Fight 2, I said I thought it was coming down with something, and uh, that's since transpired to be completely true. I've had this horrible cough all week. So I'm just taking it easy today. Uh, trying to rest up a little bit. See if I can shake it off because it's unusual for me to be ill and it's not something I really enjoy. Not that I'm sure many people do, but you know, it's stopping me from uh, cracking on as it would be. Also a little bit of news on Xeno Crisis for those that are interested. I had a bit of a argy-bargy with them, I suggest. Well, I suppose you could say and uh, it's resulted in them giving me a refund so 
I'm not sure if they want me to send the game back or not, but oh, if they do, I'll consider it. But I do wonder if I perhaps caused the delay, so if so, probably do them a favour pointing out the uh, issues. But alas, we'll never know because uh, there was no further correspondence other than the refund. Well, I'm sure they're very busy people. And once again, just to confirm, it is a good game. <laughs> so. so there you go, Henman seemed, seemed to win that. We're on to a different court uh, surface now, clay. Expecting the play to be much faster. Great rock and guitar soundtrack as well. I mean, you know, it's what it, 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 this game it, it, it's sort of you know it was realistic, but it also had really had that arcade feel. You know, the music during gameplay because a lot of sports games you know, they, they don't have they try to be serious. They don't have music during the gameplay. It's more about the ambience, but uh, Sega, they did things a little bit differently, I suppose. Come on, Tim. Courier. He didn't like that shot, did he? Boom. Oh, no! Well... What did I do that for? Trying to be fancy. No, he's not catching that anyway, is he? I don't even know what he was jumping for. I thought someone must have thrown something at him. Probably a bottle of uh, Vitell water. Oh! Also, a lot of cool sponsorship in this game. Not sure if Sega actually got paid for those. Uh, Manufacturers' names being in the games, but certainly adds to that element of realism. Tim, what are you doing? Deuce. Of course, the advantage the CPU's got is they're not talking while playing the game. Oh, that's a different camera view. Oh no! Thought that might have been a different shot. It was not. I need to really win this. Oh, come on. Yes. Deuce 2. The sequel. Oh, Tim, what are you doing? Swatting flies over there. Tim! 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 Oh, dear. Maybe it's because I'm playing with the... Uh, Analog pad and not the arcade stick. I thought I'd give you a change from all the clickiness. Well, you can play with the D-pad, well, it doesn't feel nice. Yeah, I don't know. I actually think I'm prefer the analog stick compared to the D-pad. Go on. I actually played uh, Ninja Bear Hub Stew on this game on the arcades at the first replay event I ever went to in Blackpool. I don't think he was too impressed because I beat him. Oh, go on, Timothy. Looking a little bit like Timothy Dalton there. Tim Henman could have been the new Bond. Alas, it wasn't to be. It's a it's an African woman instead. If you could even say it. Can you say African woman? I don't know. If you can't say it, then uh, I'll retract the statement. Come on, Tim. He is never going to catch that. Never in a month of Sundays. Just looking at the time there, see if we're going to get to the magical 10 minutes. Don't forget to uh, rate, comment, subscribe and send me uh, fan mail via my P.O. Box address. Also join the exclusive Stella Boxhead Patreon page where you'll receive a free can of lager every month. 
as long as you say subscribed. So uh, there we go. Go on, Tim. Bit of a delayed reaction from me there. Must be the uh, cough medicine kicking in. You can see why people get addicted to it. The one I've got at the minute, 6.6% .6 alcohol. Recommending not driving if you feel a little bit drowsy. It's good gear. Good gear indeed. Opal. Good sponsorship there. I don't understand if Opal was like the Irish Vauxhall that was just the name in other territories, which is probably nearer the truth. Although I'm sure it is Vauxhall in Ireland. Come on, Tim. This is the most clear cut he's been. Oh, that's a wide one. Never going to get it, surely. Going to go low. Going to go long. No, now I'm going to go long. Now I'm going to go low. Right. Damn! That was well played. Gillard Collier. I don't know if his name is Gerard. Might have misheard that. Oh, that's not good doing that shot for him. Go on, Tim. Oh, what are you thinking? Ho oh, ho! Yes. Nice as well how the commentator there is French because we're playing France. I like it. It's all very well thought of. So I'll leave it there. I won't bore you to death. A million hours of virtual tennis. This is still a cracking game. Well worth playing. You can get this or any of the sequels on pretty much every platform that's existed since the PlayStation 2, so no real excuse not to check it out if you fancy doing just that. So that's it for now. Take care, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and uh, I'll no doubt speak to you soon.